So this is a brand new style for 2018 for Henry Margu. This one's called Paige. And Paige is a really cute textured wavy bob cut with a practical fringe bang. It's very unique. And I personally think this is one of my favorite wigs that I've reviewed so far in this series. So let's take a look at the specs for Paige. Paige has about a three and a half inch fringe bang. Just kind of zips right above the eyebrow there. And um, also then just varying lengths in between, but overall probably about 10, 11 inches. It weighs about 3.3 ounces, and they use a cap called the Featherlight Cap. It's basically an open cap with very, very thin wefting. It's super stretchy and super comfortable and cool. I do want to talk about this color first. It's 27AH. 27AH is basically um, either starts with a very dark strawberry blonde and uh, maybe a light auburn. And then it just has a mix of gold blonde highlighting through it. Paige is a super light density wig actually. It looks like there might be a lot of hair here, but in reality this denure is very light textured, very fine. And those fibers are just beautiful. They're very uh, silky and light and feathery. The density on this wig is light as well. The bangs also have a very natural density. You know, do you hate that sometimes when uh, you get a, a style with a shorter fringe bang and the, the fringe bang is very thick? Um, this one is just right. It has very wispy fibers. It looks fantastic from the minute that it's out of the box. I just swirled around a little bit to loosen up the fibers from the cap just to free up that movement. This wig doesn't have a lot of permatease and lift on top. So if you really enjoy lift and permatease, you're probably not gonna get a whole lot of that with Paige. Now there is some bottom tease in Paige all along the top and the crown. And then there's just some, um, some pre-tease on these fibers. Remember our lesson in permatease? There's some pre-tease in these fibers on the back and that's just, it allows body without putting in extra fiber at the root. I love Paige so much that I did order one for my own personal collection, so I'll be taking the 27AH down to the Cancer Association as a part of the donation, but I really wanted one for myself as well, so I purchased this one. Um, this one is in 26GR. Each, each one of these wigs is just like a little work of art. You should not see greater than a 10% variance from wig to wig, but um, based on where they're made and who is making them, each one of them can be a little bit of a unique creation, but all should have the same quality and integrity standards as the others. So you're going to find that the measurements are exactly the same on this page as they are on the 27AH. I'm just noticing maybe a tad more lift and permatease on, the 20, or on this 26GR. Have you ever wondered how Henry Margu comes up with the inspiration and, and actually sees a new style go from a thought process to an actual end product? I've always wondered that. So I had the opportunity to interview uh, Mark from Henry Margu and we talked about this process. So uh, Henry, he did tell me that Henry Margu has been in business for over 68 years uh, because of its ability to adapt to the trends and to react quickly and get things into production while maintaining quality and integrity of the product. Um, they do have a dedicated team to, uh, in, in terms of product development, a dedicated team out there just for that reason, but they do enlist the help of all the other departments as well. So um, in their brainstorming and in their product development, 
they will enlist the help of the sales team because the sales team really knows what the customer wants, right? They're the ones that get all the feedback on styles and things. Um, they look, they talk to the marketing area because marketing is going to know, is going to know um, how these products are received in the marketplace. And then finally, you know, they're going to talk to the production people, the actual people that are putting these wigs together so that uh, the construction stays consistent and the quality stays consistent and it's actually a product that they can produce. So everybody together kind of goes into that effort. The inspiration for a style is very simple. You don't have to look very far on the internet and magazines and fashion runways to see what the upcoming styles are and what people are gravitating towards, Hollywood even. So there's your inspiration for the new styles, but a lot of times they take inspiration from real life. So these, these guys will go out into the mall and just kind of take a look around um, at some of the styles that people are wearing and you know if a color catches their eye or if a style catches their eye they're making note of that and kind of bringing it back to the group so real life hair is very important to the inspiration process um, I did hear from Mark and a member of their family she had cancer breast cancer and um, she preferred to wear a hat versus a wig um, during the chemotherapy process and the hair loss process. The hat was more comfortable and easier for her to wear. So they quickly decided to make a hat with hair. And so that's where the inspiration for their hats with hair came from. Their shorty, I reviewed the shorty. Um, that came directly from a real life experience that they had within their own family. So in terms of Paige, their brand newest style, I kind of wanted to know where Paige came from. Um, the beachy wave, that, that kind of boho, shattered wave look, is not a new style this year. Uh, but Paige was adapted to some of the older styles that they have. Kendall, well Kendall's not old, but Kendall has a full monofilament top and a lace front. It might not be affordable for everyone. Um, so this was kind of born of some of those other beachy wave examples that they had been producing but at a more affordable price point. They wanted it to be an easy wig to wear, um, light and comfortable so you can have all the fashion without the, the bigger price tags. So that's kind of how Paige came into fruition. One of the, the cap features that they're using here is called the feather light cap construction. It's basically a completely open cap, open wefted, but the wefts are very, very thin. So let's take a look at the inside of this cap. Inside of the cap for Paige. So you'll find it's completely open wefted. This is called their feather light cap. And everything here in the front has a velvet lining to it, a little bit of uh, permatease there to obscure the wefting there. And then just a, a very light mesh material covering these wefts. Now you'll notice that each of these wefts, it's densely wefted, but each, is, each weft is ultra thin and ultra light. This gives it amazing comfort and it's really stretchy. See how thin those wefts are? I think that also leads to some amazing movement too um, on the hair because when you have a lot of wefts but each of, the, each of the hairs are on the finer side, that just makes it very natural looking. Um, an extended open nape, Velcro adjusters, and open ear taps. So one of the things that I always love to do is see what it looks like with an ear tuck. Um, especially with bangs, I think that looks really cute. There's plenty of hair on the ear tab to obscure any bio hair in the front. It tucks very nicely and I would expect it to stay, although you can put some clips in there if you wanted to. the low ponytail to get it off of your neck. There's enough hair in the back to do that. And if you're like me, you're at the age where you need some cheaters um, in terms of uh, glasses, uh, little reader glasses. So when I'm looking at my iPad or going to the library and reading the newspaper, I've got to put my glasses on. It looks cute with glasses.
All right, everybody, this has been a review of the newest style in the Henry Margot lineup for 2018, Paige in the color 27AH. Take care.